Well, let's get a few more questions in here before we wrap things up, Jim. Uh, several people, as we are recording, are sending this to me. Lanny Poffo has written an article on pro wrestling stories responding to A&E's biography of Randy Savage. Well, what's he saying? Let me scroll down just to see. Uh, <laughs> it reads just... <laughs> I mean, it reads like Lanny. Did Randy Savage really lock Miss Elizabeth in the closet? That's the subject. Here's the thing. The secret to a happy marriage is still a secret to me. I'm a one-time loser. I was once married, now divorced. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, it's just a very Lanny way of addressing things. <laughs> well, yeah, that sounds like Lanny. I've, I, he didn't have a ghostwriter. The secret to a happy marriage is also a secret to someone like Jerry Lawler, who has been divorced three times. <laughs> I don't know why. Why did he Craig Lawler? Why has I been to say? <laughs> Lawler's got to be there. How did I get involved in this? Oh, oh, I guess I see why now. He was in the documentary. So I don't know why he feels the authority to give marital advice. Wrestlers love to make profound observations that they have overheard. Contrary to popular belief, my brother Randy Savage never locked Elizabeth in any closet in the dressing room. What was Randy supposed to do? Let Elizabeth take a shower with Brian Nobbs? <laughs> it's much easier to speak about it now that Randy's gone. So I'm scrolling through it. It's just, it's... Well, that's, uh, you know, that's, with all the guys roaming around uh, in, in the buildings back then, you want to make sure there's a little, a little partition between uh, your, your loved one and the rest of those slobbering nincompoops. I want to say that 75% of the A&E biography episode on Randy was great. 20% of it was lousy. And 5% was just horrible. The people responsible for the 5% are Stephanie Bellers, Gorgeous George Frankenstein, or whatever, and Bubba the Love Sponge. These are two. They're basically, the same shit we said. Why the? F well, we can understand why Gorgeous George was in there, but why the fuck was Bubba the Love Sponge in there? That was a little much. Uh, let me scroll down a little bit. One one of the things mentioned was Randy asking me to write the song "Be a Man" about Hulk Hogan on his rap album. It was the only time I've refused Randy anything. I can't do that. He replied, can't or won't. I said both. He said, why not? I explained to my brother, I was like someone who finally got a date to the dance. Hulk Hogan took me off the scrap heap and wrestled me on Saturday night's main event. I had four months of main events, all because of Hulk Hogan. So he wouldn't write a negative song about Hulk Hogan. Here's another subject line, correcting Bruce Pritchard. Speaking of writers, the former brother love Bruce Pritchard said in the A&E biography of Randy Savage that my mother was from Germany during the rise of Hitler. Basically, he was saying my mother was in the Holocaust. While that's a good soundbite for a creative writer in wrestling, it's simply not true. And he dispels that, but apparently not very happy with this uh, documentary here, and he's going even more. In the episode, Stephanie says that she and Randy took ecstasy. I don't believe my brother ever did that kind of stuff she mentioned. Maybe he did. Maybe he didn't. But it was totally inappropriate for her to say those things. She also mentioned my brother took steroids. No, it wasn't steroids because that was illegal at the time. It was human growth hormones. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, now they know he, he has not said anything. No. Un, un, uh, uncorrect there. There's a loophole. It was a loophole. Such a weird bird, isn't he? He's just, he's indignant over the way that his brother and, and his family in, in, in extension of that was maligned by the people at A&E. Who, wh what other biography? I guarantee if Ultimate Warriors is positive. It will be. Then we, then we know they just had it in for Randy Savage. Because he's the only other dead one. And what a fucking uncircumcised prick he was his almost entire life. So, we'll see what happens. 